Hello everyone. In today's lecture, we are going to see the new chapter statistical thermodynamics. So, in the statistical thermodynamics, we will see the thermodynamics on the molecular level. So, thermodynamics and the statistical thermodynamics both are different. Thermodynamics is the science which studies the quantitative relationship between the heat and the other forms of the energies and the statistical thermodynamics which provides the linkage between the microscopic properties of the matter and its bulk properties. Here the study is done on the molecular level. As we know there are the four types of energy levels. Bigger energy levels are the electronic energy levels. In between them the vibrational energy levels are placed. <coughs> in vibrational energy levels inside that the rotational energy levels are present and inside the rotational energy levels there are the translational energy levels present so electronic vibrational rotational and translational these are the four types of the energy levels and we have to distribute the total number of particles which we have this are distributed in the available energy levels and that can be studied by using the statistical thermodynamics again we can calculate the Rotation of partition function, vibration of partition function, electronic partition function and the translational partition function according to the distribution of number of particles in the available energy levels. So that can be studied in the statistical thermodynamics. So first point is the molecular energy levels as I have told now. There are four types of the energy levels, electronic, inside that vibrational, inside rotational and inside again the translational energy levels. So the gap between electronic energy levels is very large as compared to vibrational, rotational and the translational energy levels. And translational energy levels are almost overlapped on each other. And we assume a system suppose which consists of the capital N number of molecules N shows the total number of molecules and the energy associated with that capital N number of molecules is the capital E and it is not possible to be definite about how that energy is shared in between the molecules and the collision will take place in the molecules and it results into the Sisley's redistribution of the energy not only between the molecules but also among their different modes of motions like electronic, vibrational, rotational and the translational motions. And now the new term is the population. So population means the average number of molecules which are distributed in the energy states or the energy levels which are available and this is called as the population of the state means simply average number of molecules that can be distributed in the available energy states this is the population and we say that there are suppose n ith molecules are present in the e ith state of energy and the population of the states which remains almost constant but the precise identity of the molecules in each state may change at every collision means suppose uh, we have the capital num n number of molecules and the energy associated with that n number of molecules is the capital E same way we can consider we have the n i i is the ith number of molecules are the n and the energy associated with that molecules is the e i and the population of the states will remain constant that is the overall term is the population simply average number of molecules are distributed in the available energy levels and now the next term 
which is new for you it is a configuration so configuration which identifies the way in which system can share out its energy among the available energy states and at any instant there will be no molecules in the state with energy or n0 number of molecules as we know the electronic energy level suppose considered then we can say the ground state is e0 excited state is e1 then n2 n3 and and so on okay e0 e1 e2 e3 e4 and so on and the number of molecules which are distributed in that energy states are huh? n0 n1 n2 n3 n4 and so on so simply number of molecules are present in each energy level that means energy is associated with that number of molecules so we can consider n0 molecules have the energy e0 n1 molecules which are associated with the e1 state n2 are associated with e2 n3 are associated with e3 and so on and the set of population can be written as in the curly bracket n0 comma n1 comma n2 bucket complete and this is called as a instantaneous configuration means simply configuration and population these two terms are the different because population which gives the average number of molecules which are distributed in the energy states and the configuration identifies the way this word is important the way in which system can share out its energy among the available energy states here energy is shared and here molecules are distributed these two terms are totally different and the each number of molecules are associated with the respective energies like n0 is associated with e0 n1 is associated with e1 n2 is associated with e2 and so on and the complete set of number of molecules can be written in the curly bracket this is called as instantaneous configuration because e0 level consists of the n0 number of molecules e1 e2 are associated with n1 and n2 number of molecules so simply this is the instantaneous configuration and now the most important point of today's discussion is the weight of configuration and the weight of configuration is a particular configuration can be reached in a number of ways and is the statistical weight of the configuration and that represents a probability that configuration can be reached from all other configuration by totally random ways we simply suppose we have 1 2 3 it means 123 is there so how many ways you can rearrange this 1 3 2 3 2 1 or 1 2 3 means by three ways you can rearrange the 123 value so simply this is called as a configuration or the weight of configuration means simply the number of ways by which you can arrange the configuration like 1 2 3 this can be written as 3 to 1 1 3 2 etc so these are the three ways of arrangement means simply same configuration can be attained by the random ways so the equation is here to calculate the weight of can configuration and the weight of configuration can be denoted by capital w it's equal to n factorial divided by in a bracket n0 factorial into n1 factorial into n2 factorials so simply capital n represents the total number of molecules present in the system n0 is the number of molecules associated with the ground state e0 n1 number of molecules are associated with the first excited state and n2 number of molecules are associated with the e2 state so simply this is the formula of the weight of configuration where n0 is the number of particles in the e0 energy state for example consider a 
system which consists of the fine number of particles in which in the ground state there is one particle in the first excited state four number of particles and in the second excited state zero number of particles are present so weight of configuration can be calculated as w is equal to 5 factorial divided by 1 factorial into 4 factorial into 0 factorial so calculate this values on your calculator it will come w is equal to 5 so weight of configuration is equal to 5 so by this way we can calculate the number of ways by which we can rearrange the configuration and the simplification of the weight of configuration equation can be done by using a sterling approximation so we will see how the equation of weight of configuration that is w can be simplified so our equation is here w is equal to n factorial divided by n0 factorial into n1 factorial into n2 factorial and so on so here again i have told the capital n is the total number of particles which are present in the system and the small n0 and 1 and 2 are the number of molecules which are associated with the e0 e1 and e2 energy states so simply we can take the i don't know both sides of this two equation uh, equation number one and we can write the equation number two so ln w this is the left side ln is equal to ln of n factorial divided by n0 factorial into n1 factorial into n2 factorial this will be our equation number two simply ln can be written to both sides of equation one now we will simplify the equation according to the mathematical rule ln of x upon y is equal to ln of x minus ln of y so ln w is equal to ln of n factorial minus that can be negative so minus ln of n0 factorial into n1 factorial into n2 factorial this is equation number three and this is by using the mathematical rule ln of x upon y is equal to ln of x minus ln of y here is ln of y that and uh, now ln w is equal to ln of n factorial as it is now we can simplify this bracket so according to mathematical rule again ln of x into y is equal to ln of x plus ln of y this rule you know very well so ln w is equal to ln of n factorial minus ln of n0 in bracket ln of n0 factorial plus ln of n1 factorial plus ln of n2 factorial and so on so simply we can write this overall the bucket is equal to summation of ln of n i so we have i number of terms so just it is addition so we can write summation of ln of n i factorials so this summation of ln of n i factorials this is the equation number five so ln w is equal to ln of n factorial minus summation of ln of n i factorial this is equation number five now we are going to apply the sterling approximation to the equation number five so sterling approximation equation is here ln of x factorial is equal to x ln of x minus x so this is the equation and according to this equation we have to simplify the factorials which are present in these two terms and we can write directly summation of n i is equal to n because we know the capital n is the total number of particles present in the system and summation of n i means again it is summation means addition addition of total number of particles present in the system so both terms are equal summation of n i and capital n now we will simplify equation 5 ln w is equal to this ln of n factorial this can be simplified according to this so n ln of n minus n this is the first bracket according to sterling approximation so this is the first bracket minus we can apply same rule for the second term so it will come summation of n i ln of n i 
minus summation of n i. This is a small n i. So we have written here again summation of n i is equal to you can write capital N directly. So I have written directly here summation of n i is equal to capital N. So just simplify this term again ln of n minus n minus summation of n i ln of n i plus n. So you can cancel this plus n and the minus n. So equation will be only ln w is equal to n ln of n minus summation of n i ln of n i. This is the simplified equation of the ln w. And based on this equation, we will solve a problem based on the weight of configuration. Calculate the weight associated with the configuration which corresponding observed 40 hertz after flipping the coin 100 times. Compare this weight to the most probable outcome. So problem is given here. We have to calculate the weight which is associated with the configuration which corresponds to 40 hertz after flipping the coin 100 times. And we have to compare this weight to the most probable outcome. So I have written here given things 40 hertz and 60 tails. And the configuration can be written here. So we have seen how to write the instantaneous configuration. The number which are given you can write in the curly bracket. So we have given the 40 hertz and 60 tails. So you can write here 40, 60. This is the instantaneous configuration and most probable outcome. So most chances to get the head and tail are the 50, 50. So we can write here most probable outcome is the 50, 50. Now W is equal to N factorial divided by N0 factorial into N1 factorial into N2 factorial. So this is the formula just put values. So capital N is equal to 100 times. So you can write here 100 factorial divided by 40 factorial into 60 factorial. So its value will come 10 raised to 28. So this is the weight of configuration when 40 heads and 60 tails are present. And uh, this is the second problem here. Calculate the number of ways of distributing the 20 identical objects into the boxes with the arrangement 1, 0, 3, 5, 10, 1. So this many number of molecules are given and uh, total are 20. So simply we have to write in the form of instantaneous configuration 1, 0, 3, 5, 10, 1 and capital N is equal to 20. So the weight is uh, calculated by the equation W is equal to N factorial divided by N0 factorial into N1 factorial into N2 factorial and so on. So just put given all this in the formula of W. So 20 factorial divided by 1 factorial into 0 factorial into 3 factorial into 5 factorial into 10 factorial into 1 factorial. After calculating value it will come 9.31 into 10 raised to plus 8. So by this way we can calculate the weight of configuration.